Hey YouTube, today we're going to learn about item specifics and what to do if you get an error that they're missing. So sometimes when you list in certain categories, such as clothing for example, there are what's called required item specifics. This can include brand, UPC, MPN, different categories have different required item specifics and not every category includes required item specifics. But let's say you put your item together everything looks great and you go to upload it and you get this kind of an error. The item specific brand is missing. Add brand to this listing and for a valid value then try again. You can go to your item specifics and you can try to create a item specific called brand and it's still going to give you the same information that their brand is missing. This can cause a lot of frustration and confusion for folks. So what you would do in this kind of situation is you're going to click to get into the listing. You're going to edit your item specifics. See here, all we have is the enter detail label. So in this kind of a situation, what you're going to want to do, instead of adding your own item specific to include brand or UPC or what have you, you're going to go down here and click Get Suggestions. Anything that populates with a green star must be filled out. If these are not filled out, you're going to keep getting those error messages. So we'll just go ahead and put some random stuff in here. Now you can continue to fill out these other areas that are not required, no green star, but again, since they're not required, you don't have to. It won't prevent the listing from going up. So let's go ahead and click Done and Save. And once again, we'll go ahead and calculate fees and look for errors. Perfect. Now, you'll see that there's a warning that's here. A warning is not going to prevent your listings from going up. A warning is simply that. It's, it's telling you something can be adjusted. If you wanted to look it up, you can and fix it. I just have a dummy email address in here, which is why it's telling me that it's not an actual PayPal account, but that's fine. So in any event, those steps, clicking edit for your item specifics and then clicking the get suggestions button will populate those required item specific fields. Once filled out, you should be able to upload them to the site without a problem. Keep watching for more videos on how to build your eBay arsenal.